Hey, oh, we're back in Space Quest 2, Vohal's Revenge. Oh, did you see that guy in the back? Oh, yeah. There's a did. guy! Holy shit! Hey, everyone, welcome back to Space Quest 2. Um, we just landed on, uh, Labion, where, uh. Technically, we landed on one of the guards. But it's <laughs> true. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yes. there, he, he was between Labion and us when we made, uh, Groundfall, but, uh, yeah, uh, it didn't end well for these guys. Uh, somehow Roger's dumb luck just managed to keep him just alive enough that we can kill him in fantastic and interesting ways later. Uh, but to, let's look uh, around. Yeah, you need to go deal with that sound, I think. Yeah, quite possibly. Do it. Um, you know, I, I know that if we wait long enough, we're most likely just going to die. Um, <laughs> Which has been requested of us. Yep, yeah, that is true. So we're going to be uh, dying a little bit more in this uh, series of games. Than we have in, uh, in others. So uh, let's look around a bit. You seem to be in a rather exotic forest. The growth here is unlike anything you're used to. On the ground lies the wreckage of the hovercraft you crashed in. Nearby are the bodies of your former captors. Fantastic. Let's look at this body. The guard appears to be less thick than you remember him. Many of his formerly contained bodily fluids seem to be at large. <laughs> <laughs> Let's search this body. You search the grotesque body and find a small, thin magnetic card. It looks like a key card. You seem to recall seeing it somewhere in the past. All right. Get card. Okay. okay. Hey, we remember to actually pick up the thing that we found on a body. Hey, there Look we go. Craft. The hovercraft has been reduced to a mound of twisted wreckage. Everything that was straight is bent. Everything that was bent is benter. <laughs> there appears to be no salvageable parts. <laughs> I like benter. Benter. Look body. The guard's body has been fatally damaged by the fall. Nice. Listen. You hear a high pitched beep. It seems to be emanating from the wrecked hovercraft. Look in... Oh, wait. Look in craft. Everything inside is twisted and bent. You do notice a button with a flashing light next to it. It seems to be emitting a high-pitched beep. Okay, well, let's press the button. You press the button. The light goes dark, and you no longer notice the high-pitched beep. Nice. Let's yeah. search this body. You search the grotesque body and find nothing. Fantastic. All right, well, we've done what we came to do here. Let's move on with our lives. Is it time to save? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. There you go. Hey, bada bada bada. New save. New save. Wow. <laughs> Suddenly, from somewhere to the east, you hear a twang, followed by a high-pitched shriek. They didn't add a sound effect for that one. Although they have a Ooh! kind of sound. That, that was lazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Look. Oops. Let's just let's start by looking. You are in another area of the forest. The growth seems to be getting heavier here. Let's look at the man. The little creature caught in the snare has thick-looking pinkish skin. He looks to be less than a meter tall. He doesn't seem too thrilled with his predicament. Let's talk with the man. <laughs> he doesn't respond, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use those variables, man. I'm Converse with the gentleman. Save dude. Uh, save <laughs> man. Un <coughs> Untie creature. Dude. There you go. <laughs> the dude. Word. It did understand dude. Yep. <laughs> Noise. <laughs> Before disappearing through a tiny hole in the brush, the little creature gives you a long glance. You could have also had kind of like a funky uh, bass line going on there while he was uh, escaping, too. And you're welcome, ungrateful little shit. 
<laughs> All right, let's save again. Dude. Dude. And I seem to remember... No. We're going to have to... We're going to have to hide here soon. Eventually. Eventually. It's all mixed up. I haven't played this in... No, mm-hmm. yeah. They they do show up. Um, oh, just... right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you seem to have kicked one of those strange little spores. And... <laughs> That's pretty great. Your kick caused some of the spores to open and spray a fine powder into the air. As a result, you're paralyzed from head to toe, unable to move a single muscle. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, that's great. That adds a lot. That adds an awful lot. I totally approve. Yeah. I love how this didn't kill you outright. No. You just lay there until bad things. <laughs> Fortunately, the paralysis wears off and you seem to be back to normal. Get spore. You take possession of one of the spores, being careful not to mistakenly break it open. The game was was very forgiving in that manner. Yeah. Oh man. Uh oh, I'm 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 transported back to when I first played this. <laughs> Look tree. The trees around the perimeter of the area have a shiny slick look. The two in the middle have a duller kind of sheen. So, I seem to recall that the slick trees have a sap that will stick you and basically cause you to die. Um, But the two in the middle, being duller, are drier, and therefore will not get you stuck. Will not do that. Yep. Which is good, because you kind of got to circumnavigate them in in a pretty difficult way, so. There we are. Let's take a look at the machine. The mailbox looks typical for a mailbox. There is a slot, a tray, and a sign. Well, let's start with the slot. Look, slot. The slot looks much like an opening in the exterior of the mailbox through which a thin piece of mail might pass. <laughs> okay. Let's look. The Clearly, this is this is a good place and a needed place to have a mailbox. <laughs> mm-hmm, absolutely. The tray is actually a small indentation in the lower part of the machine. It is currently empty. Cool. Let's read the sign. The sign says, Radical Express, when it totally, no doubt, for sure, has to be there a while previously. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Save. <laughs> <laughs> Mail man. Mail man. Uh, put hand in slot. <laughs> Let's don't and say we did. Ha <laughs> <Okay>. ha! <laughs> uh, so we have in our inventory an order form that was just kind of there from before we even started playing. So let's look. Order form. This is an order form you removed from a magazine for a free Labion Terror Beast mating whistle. It's ready to be mailed. <laughs> Mail form. You drop the order form into the box. The mailbox hums and buzzes for a while. Then an object of some sort drops into the tray at the base of the box. The machine goes silent. Look, object. Uh, look, tray. The go. tray is actually blur. It <laughs> currently bearing what looks to be a whistle. Get whistle. <laughs> okay, we did it. Whistle. The whistle is usual looking. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. We did it! We did the mail part! We mailed a thing and got a thing for mailing it! Congratulations Go to us. us. 
You feel? Oh my god! Should we save? Should we save? I don't know. It seems sure. like a good idea, right? Yeah, why not? Let's, uh... Do I need to... No? Okay. Um... Oh. I don't oh, know. no. Cancel. Let's close that Get out of there. <laughs> okay. I guess we just need to, um, type mailman again. Yeah, there you go. We can't select the saves. We just have to. No. I'm not Weird, super eh? used to the 2GS's version of this. So, you know. Oh, this will be fine. No, yeah, off we go. No problem. Off we go. Yuck. <laughs> this is fine. Everything this is, is fine. fine. Yeah. How This can't possibly end poorly. Oh, um, unlikely. I appreciate this. <laughs> Letting you get this far. <laughs> well, not only that, but the choice to basically make it the Jaws theme. Yeah, that's great. You feel something slimy clamp down on your leg and pull you beneath the surface. You struggle in vain to free yourself. Unfortunately, your desire to breathe results in the intake of a large quantity of swamp water. If the lack of oxygen hadn't killed you, the taste of the putrid water would have. Nice. You're dead! Better luck next time, Roger. You're dead! <laughs> You're dead! <laughs> Alright. Another senseless tragedy. You can help prevent this. Vote yes on the lobotomies for adventure game designers. Thank wow. you for playing Space Quest 2, Roger. You've been most entertaining. <laughs> All right. Restore. Mailman. Okay. So. <coughs> we're not so, done out here yet. No. We got more things to do. Places to go. People and fauna to see. Uh, yeah, like, we came from King's Quest 1 and 2 uh, mm -hmm. to playing this. Uh-oh. You hear yeah. something. I was gonna... I was... Like, there, there just wasn't a safe place for me to go. Um, so, not unlike other... Um, other uh, Sierra games of its ilk... Uh, it goes by the principle that if we can't see you, nobody can see you. Yes. So if we do run into a situation where we need to hide again, uh, all we need to do is... Oh, shit. Wait, oh, okay. oh, oh, oh. Okay. fuck do I remember look. this. <laughs> Let's just look. You're in another clearing in the forest. This one seems to be occupied by a type of growth you are not familiar with. Okay. Look, brain? That does not seem to be in your sight right now. Look. <clears throat> ah, he You've seen no Look. one of interest. Root? It appears to be some kind of overdeveloped root. There is a pulsating growth near the middle, which is connected to several meters of root-like appendages. There we go. Let's look at the growth. It appears to be some okay. kind of overdeveloped okay. root. Read that. <laughs> uh, root beer. I don't have enough space for um, really witty shit. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh yeah. That didn't, that didn't last long. I figured, I I <laughs> I figured I was going to run into a uh, a spot where I would die sooner rather than later, but it was, that was kind of fast. You're not that soon, eh? Yeah. Good! Good. <laughs> You've succeeded <laughs> in establishing contact with one of this planet's life forms. And it looks like you'll get to examine it up close and personal. The giant root-looking thing is giving you a guided tour of its digestive system. What you experience next is too horrible to describe. Let's just say that you die as a result. You are dead. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Uh, it may please you to know that during the night, you didn't digest well. 
For a while, gastric distress made it extremely unpopular with the other root monsters. <laughs> oh, I love the writing in this, though. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Way to go, friends. Wingnut! Uh-huh. Way to go, Wingnut. That was awesome. Yep. Okay, root beer. Okay, right. so I'm going to take it nice and slow. <laughs> And I'm going to be saving often, so I apologize if this gets a little tedious. Well, the controls are so fucking clunky. I mean, at least I'm I'm using uh, a controller with, like, diagonals. Yes. I could not imagine playing this. Oh, oh it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so at least we can restore before we go through the whole death sequence. As again, so. as we've mentioned uh, numerous times on this show, uh, Andrew and I never used the diagonal keys. Yeah. So, so. Uh, this and they refuse part... to even uh, in an era where every computer has a ten key. Yeah. Yeah. It was just, uh, yeah. It didn't seem natural. <laughs> if you used to drive in standard, then you always want to shift the automatic, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, it just seemed weird. Sure. We'll go. <laughs> you're like, you're like, yeah, guys. <laughs> Whatever. This was a nightmare for us. This part. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. The lack of diagonals. <laughs> Oof. I could see that being. Uh... Oh. Uh. Save it, yo. Save it. Yeah. I should have saved something shorter. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh, God. Save it, yo. Save it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Look at you, you daring daredevil dare guy. There nice. we go. Yeah. All right. Saved it. Look, berries. The berries hanging on the bush look quite juicy and smell very pungent. Smell berries. Say what? Get berries? Oh, yes, I want to start fixing here. You snag some of the odiferous red berries. Nice. Odoriferous. Odoriferous. Save. Odoriferous. Berry. Well, how are we doing for time? Berries. Eat berries. <laughs> now get them near your mouth and notice the pungent scent. Wisely, you change your mind. All right, folks. I'm su- yes, I'm that surprised is... they spared us from that. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I just figured that they would like at least make you puke. Um, but there you go. And that's all the time that we have for today. So thank you very much for joining us, everybody, in this uh, adventure on the uh, the magical world of Labion. Uh, we are going to continue uh, next time um, trying to make it all the way through the Root Monster Maze without uh, dying again. Um, whether that actually works or not, hard to say. Um, if I make it through before I finish like chewing the scenery right now, I'm going to be like almost disappointed. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. oh! That's alright. All right. I didn't expect I didn't expect to survive. So thank you very much everybody. We will see you next time. Until then, uh, keep don't step on the roots. Yeah, don't step on the roots. Bye. Right? Right?